Hi, this is John O'Brien from California Credence, uh, CaliforniaCredence.com. And uh, so we're going to be looking at um, how you back up your uh, iPad to another iPad so that multi-tracker is on two iPads. Uh, it's always good to have a backup. Um, this will work for any iPad. A um, few things that you're going to need is you're going to need an account with iTunes and uh, you're also going to need a lightning connector or the 30 pin adapter uh, connector so that you can connect your iPad um, to your uh, laptop or computer. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I have my regular performance um, iPad. This would be the one that um, uh, we used to perform. Um, so this would be uh, our main one that we're relying on for our shows. But, um, whoa, there we go. Okay, um, but we have uh, the uh, backup uh, iPad, which would be this one. And as you can see in uh, multi-tracker, uh, we have nothing. Uh, we don't have anything on here because uh, I want to start from scratch and kind of show you how easy it is. So what we're going to be doing is getting uh, all the information from your multi-tracker that's on your performance and into the backup. Now obviously you have to install multi-tracker on your second device under your same uh, name. So first order of business that you're going to want to do is to take your um, iPad that has the uh, performance, your performance iPad, and then you're going to want to go into here to your general, um, uh, you know, to, to some of the settings here, and then you're going to go to your um, database operations and in your database operations is you're going to be wanting to save this database. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of your files and your songs and your mix settings and then I'm going to just going to call it, um, we'll call it June Training. So now what we've done is we've created a backup file. So what this is going to do is the database tra uh, June training is what's going to take it where we can export all the files to a computer. And then what we do is um, disconnect the performance iPad. And then uh, it's going to have all the files and that one uh, database file. Um, and then I'm going to import that into the new uh, or the backup iPad. And when we launch the database file, what that's going to do, it's going to retain all the mix settings, all the playlists, all of the things as if it were on the performance. So um, this is really not that hard and it is a little time consuming. So I'm probably going to speed up the video. Okay, this is going to be a really fast process here. So uh, this is the performance iPad 3. Uh, we click on file sharing and um, that file sharing is going to reveal multi-tracker and all of the existing files on the performance iPad on the far right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all of these and then we're going to use the far right scroll bar to scroll all the way to the bottom and there will be a button called save and we're going to click on that button save and I have created a folder on my computer called perf backup and when I hit uh, select folder on the perf backup here, I, when I select the button, select folder, all of the um, files and songs and everything from the performance um, iPad will be backed up. Now we're on, we just plug in the, per, the backup um, iPad, that's iPad 2. And um, when that's plugged in, you're gonna notice we go down to the applications or file sharing and then the uh, multi-tracker, but there's nothing there. So in order to get the files off of the computer and into the backup, we go ahead and use this scroll button and we scroll all the way down. But I want to warn you not to use the add files button. Uh, that's a bad idea. What I would do is simply go to the folder on my computer, select all the files in that folder, and then I'm just simply going to drag and drop them into iTunes. And it's just that simple. It takes a while for all those files to transfer, but once they're all transferred, you'll be launching that database that you made so that you can retain all the mix settings and then it'll look like this. Once you click do it, it'll look like this. Voila, all of your mix settings are there, all of your playlists, all of your songs, everything's ready to roll.